Sony fans, I am here for you because I know that some of you guys are sad that Final Fantasy is no longer exclusive to the PlayStation platform. So today, I am here to listen to your story. I am here to be a listening ear as to why it is you are sad because of Final Fantasy. I know it's confusing, but guess what? Island Gaming is here. Let me hear the story. I don't even know if I can say this, and y'all gonna laugh at me. We're I'm not, not gonna, gonna laugh, laugh at you. I promise you, we're not gonna laugh. Mm -mm. When I grew up, right, and I remember. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we really want to hear you guys' story. I know even some of you guys are saying now that you guys don't care about Final Fantasy anymore. You're saying so. Why do PlayStation fans want to keep gatekeeping this saga, but at the same time don't show up for the game uh, and buying 10 million copies? Well, well, this is a tough question to answer, Space D, because I can't speak on behalf of all the PlayStation fans, right? Um, do PlayStation fans want to gatekeep Final Fantasy? Uh, maybe some of them. I want to. I've said this multiple times, and I'll reiterate it that I don't care about Final Fantasy exclusivity, like. <laughs> I don't. Um, I think they're big games for Sony to get. I think they're like, wow, okay, yeah, you show up at a showcase with FF16 exclusivity and FF7 remake exclusivity. Like, yeah, that's that's huge. That's absolutely huge. But I never really cared about it because I was just like, well, okay, you know, like I get why Sony wants it. Um, and I'm only if listen, I'm only I don't even want to say a fan. I'm only completely indifferent or okay. Boss, bro, come on, man. <sighs> this cat. I swear. Let me try this again. I'm okay slash indifferent to third-party exclusivity when it is mutually beneficial. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If it's benefiting the company making the game and it's benefiting, um, you know, the company who's paying them to secure that game, I'm cool. I like, I'm indifferent to that, basically. He's like, okay, I get that from the consumer level. It's like, well, man, I want to play it and I get it. That sucks. You know, I get it. Exclusivity sucks and whatnot. All of a sudden, no exclusivity sucks. Yes. The PlayStation fans are saying that exclusive games suck. Could you be? Could you guys believe that? But I could give you guys several reasons as to why Square Enix is now taking this multi-platform approach. Is because when they tried to put exclusive games onto the PlayStation platform, it all failed. Could somebody remember Forspoken? Dead. Could somebody remember Phobe Stars? dead could someone remember final fantasy 7 reboot was not supported well all these financial moves that Square Enix made hoping that the playstation fans would have supported it in droves they died and cost the company millions for this reason Square Enix has said enough is enough we are going multi-platform Yes, now you guys are saying that exclusivity does not matter. Now you guys are angry with Square Enix. But you guys shouldn't because guess what? The recent financial update proves that absolutely nothing is wrong with PlayStation. You guys shouldn't worry about PlayStation. You guys have to talk and worry about Xbox instead of PlayStation because guess what? PlayStation is fine. They're, they're not doing anything wrong. Nothing is up with the platform or the console. So let's talk about that exactly. Let's talk about how playstation is doing everything perfectly <laughs> let's get it this is a sickness let's get it first up let's talk about starfield for all the gaming outlets for all the haters and fans that 
you know, spoke about Starfield not being 60 frames per second. Um, well, the update is here. The update is here. The 60 frames per second update is here. Yes, you take a visual hit when you, uh, you know, you increase the frame rate. However, it's not a significant visual hit. So yes, the Starfield 60 FPS, 40 FPS, and 30 FPS with VRR are uh, on is here so if it is you wanted this update you can go and download it right now and enjoy starfield and all the glorious uh fps that you may want next up let me just put this spotlight on this indie game i forgot to do it a couple videos back but this is about hypercharged unbox now this is a game exclusive for the xbox platform at this moment and um, but this really shows you know uh, xbox uh, dedication to helping the indie dev you know uh, bring their titles to the platform so listen to the dev really show appreciation for this game coming out listen to him as he is so grateful that this game is released and maybe um, this game might interest you after two years of working extremely hard on our action figure game hyper hypercharged and boxed i am proud to announce that it is launching on Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One on May the 31st, 2024. This has been... Uh, <sighs> this has been a, such a, a journey for us. We have worked so hard. We have worked extremely hard to bring this game on Xbox. And Xbox does tell us to power our dreams. And that is exactly what we've done with this game. We made it for you guys. We didn't succumb to pressure. We didn't rush launch. We worked very, very hard to make this game. So I'm going to um, switch to the, to the trailer now. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. And just thank you to everybody who supported us through this journey. Thank you. Jens below. Next up, let's talk about the PlayStation Financial Report. We know that when Microsoft had their financial updates, that their console or their hardware sales was down 31%. When that happened, the PlayStation fans no doubt laughed. Not only that, but it had so many articles written how Microsoft is dead as their consoles declined to 31%. Even now, we are seeing uh, persons like Daniel Ahmad, uh, you know, IGN is saying that here what? PlayStation was able to sell five times more consoles than the Xbox. You see, none of these journalists was able to give you guys context as to why, you know, the PlayStation would have sold five times more than the Xbox. The first context they didn't say is that this was just for one quarter. Yes, the PlayStation was able to sell five times more than the Xbox in one quarter. This is not the entire uh, generation. It is more uh, like into two to one when it comes to the entire generation, which is not bad. Now, when it came to the other context is this. We know the reason why it is Microsoft did not sell that amount of consoles is because we know why it is persons go out and buy consoles. Why is that? Another context is this. Why do you think Microsoft in, in their last financial update was able to predict that they would see a decline in their consoles is because they knew they didn't have any AAA game like Starfield to be released. Every other game uh, that was released was not as big as Starfield in last year, September. There we had Forza, we had Palvo, but they weren't big major games like Starfield. The next big major game that is gathering a lot of hype is Hellblade 2 and that is coming out this month this that is coming out next week right so this is why Xbox saw a, a very drastic decrease in console sales because they had no games for more no big AAA games for more than five months so now we could understand as to why Microsoft did not sell as much consoles as the other compare that to Sony we are seeing Sony would have released more than five exclusive games for their platform in the same time period and we, that is why we could see the sales of sony consoles 
being way more than of Xbox because Xbox did not have the amount of games like Sony being released exclusive for their uh, platform. So it's very clear. These games propel sales. Now, I would admit that it's up to Microsoft to understand this and have enough games to feed their consumer, to build that mind share. That is Microsoft, uh, you know, what Microsoft need to do. But come on, Sherlock's. It's no mystery as to why it is the PlayStation sold more than Xbox. It's because PlayStation had games that they thought would have been big enough to propel their games. The, uh, the Rise of Ronin, Foam Stars, uh, Final Fantasy uh, 7 Reboot, all those games uh, PlayStation had. But let's do this. Obviously, persons made a lot of articles. They had a lot of laughs on Twitter that Microsoft hardware was down 31%. So no doubt when PlayStation financial report um, was released just two days ago or a day ago, we would have seen Sony nowhere close to hardware, their hardware being sold um, or dropping uh, close to 31%, right? Well, let's see what the report says. PS5 sales couldn't reach Sony's revised targets, and Sony expects sales to drop even more. Sony has sold a lot of PlayStation 5 consoles, but not as many as it wanted, and it's bracing for the decline to continue. Things aren't looking especially good for PlayStation at the moment. Though Sony doesn't appear to be suffering quite like its major competitor Microsoft, the company's PlayStation business simply isn't doing as well as it used to. PlayStation 5 hardware sales in the financial year that just ended have missed projections, even after Sony lowered its expectations by a couple of million. The sales dip represents a whopping 29% year-over-year slump in Q4. Recent months clearly haven't been kind to PlayStation. Sony revealed this morning, as part of its full-year FY 2023 report PDF, that PS5 sales have taken a big hit, and will continue on a downward trend. Over the course of the fiscal year ending March 31st, Sony sold 20.8 million PS5 consoles, which failed to meet its revised 21 million target. In fiscal year 2024, ending March 2025, Sony expects to sell even fewer units, projecting just 18 million. Cumulative PS5 sales stand at a very respectable 59.2 million, so it's not like the console is struggling, but the drop is perceptible, especially after the company lowered its projections in anticipation, only to narrowly miss them. In February, Sony cut 900 jobs, and closed down its London studio. The cuts were likely made to lessen the effects of the drop in sales and profitability, and they'll forever be remembered as the final act of former Sony Interactive Entertainment President and CEO, Jim Ryan. Sony did not touch on its hardware plans for the new fiscal year in the report, but PS5 Pro rumors and leaks have been relentless. The upgraded console is expected to arrive this fall, so we're closer than ever to a proper reveal. Wait, 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 don't tell me that the PlayStation 5 console saw a 29% decrease. Isn't that something? Won't the PlayStation community just laughing for Microsoft 31% um, decrease? Now let me hear what they, how they will damage control this. Because it's very clear, despite Sony having all these game releases, this, their console still saw a decrease in uh, uh you know sales now microsoft has, has an excuse although it's not a good one for gamers they had no game so it's obvious that their console was not going to sell but what excuse does sony have this is what i'm saying here now when it comes to this other article that said that sony sold 59 million we are seeing that this 59 million is not resulting in sales for their partners koei tecmo did not reach their sales with rise of ruin hence they had to make cutbacks, they had to have layoffs. Koei Tecmo. The same thing when it comes to uh, Squared Enix. Squared Enix did not see the return on that 59 million consoles. Not even 10 million of that 59 mi million consoles bought Final Fantasy Reboot R. So here we are seeing that that 59 million is just a, a whole lot of fluff, a whole lot of nothing. That is clear. It is not making the returns on their partners. So that is why we are seeing that Square, uh, Sony could also say that they will see additional, uh, an additional decline when it comes to their consoles. But not only that, but we are seeing that here what? 
um, this is troubling news for Sony altogether because although they had all these games, they're still seeing the decline. They are not making profits for their partners. That is why we see we are seeing the shift for Square Enix. But let me hear what you think about all of this information. This is some startling news here for Sony, but let me hear what you think. What do you think Sony need to do in order to uh, increase their sales back? Do they need to release that PlayStation 5 Pro? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Uh...